What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video I'm going to compare the Twitter app between the iOS and the Windows Phone 8. I've already shown you some of the comparison like a Facebook app and the WhatsApp app and in this video I'm going to compare the Twitter app between the two platforms that is Windows Phone 8 and the iOS. In general, both apps uh, looks uh, and works pretty similar. However, there are uh, some differences if you look closer. The scrolling works great on uh, both phones. The first difference is that on iOS, the images that you have posted on uh, Twitter will show on the home page. Whereas on uh, Windows Phone app, it does not show on the home page. And if you click the tweet, then it will show you the picture. And same is true on uh, iOS as well. You can see the picture after clicking as well. But on iOS, you can see on the home page as well. There are, there are actually some additional stuff as well. There are reply, retweet, the favorite button is also available and the follow button is also available on the home page. Whereas on Windows Phone, no such uh, buttons are available on the home page. And for that actually you have to click the tweet and once you are inside you can uh, reply, retweet, favorite uh, that tweet as well. There is also menu button on uh, both platforms. If you click the menu you can see that uh, some of the options are similar and uh, some are different. Here you see that uh, the additional thing on uh, iOS is that you can send this tweet to reading list or pocket or the insta paper whereas there is no such option on windows phone 8 but there are actually few additional options on windows phone 8 like you can uh, copy this tweet and you can actually reply via message or you can actually text that tweet to somebody or your uh, contact the mail tweet and copy link to tweet option is available on uh, both platforms and on iOS, the report tweet button is also available. If there is any link in the tweet and you click that link, there are actually some differences that uh, iPhone 5S will open the tweet within this app and the brow browser is integrated within this app. However, on uh, Windows Phone, it will open that link in the native browser, which is the Internet Explorer which is actually a plus point because you can actually do more things uh, on Internet Explorer. And uh, if you have installed the readability, now from Internet Explorer, you can actually send that tweet to read readability. Also, the link opens faster on the native browser instead of the integrated browser on iOS. In addition to that, you can uh, share the same link with the different things like uh, the Facebook or other social media apps or whatever you have installed on your Windows phone as you can see here. Whereas the sharing option is uh, slightly limited on iOS. For example on Windows uh, phone 8 you can uh, share the link to different social networks or uh, some other sharing options you can see here, whereas on uh, iPhone 5S, you have to copy the link and uh, you have to paste that link to that social network instead of sharing directly from here. Another advantage is that the setting menu is uh, available all the time on any screen, whereas on uh, iOS, you have to go to the Me tab and uh, from there you can select the settings. As far as the notification tab is concerned, both uh, phones works uh, similarly. There are no difference as far as the notification is concerned. However, on uh, iOS, once again, you can see that the reply, retweet, favorite and the follow button is available on the notification uh, main window instead of uh, opening that particular tweet and then replying to that tweet. On uh, both phones, the Trending or discover option is available but located in different places. On uh, iOS you have to go to home and then swipe to left to find the discover. Whereas on Windows Phone 8 
you have to actually go to the hashtag menu and then go to the trending where you, there you can uh, find the trending the activity on windows phone 8 is also available on the hashtag menu whereas on ios you have to go to the home and swipe uh, left twice in order to find the activity so the locations are different but the functionality is similar and you find uh, all the activity that you or uh, your followers or the people you are following has done the next item on the menu is uh, messages on ios whereas the messages on windows phone 8 is available on me tab and uh, you have to go to the me and then press the messages button there and you find your messages there and you can uh, write new message there and once again you can see slight difference that ios is automatically suggesting some of the friends whereas uh, windows uh, phone 8 is not suggesting any friends and you need to type the name of the friend that uh, you want to send the message on uh, both platforms as you can see you can uh, switch account on ios like that and on windows phone by going to the menu and then switch accounts you can uh, sign in uh, using multiple accounts on both applications you can edit your uh, profile on uh, both apps and both apps provide the same functionality as far as the profile editing is concerned now let's look at the settings on uh, both apps and setting is actually slightly different on both of them and ios here actually provides slightly more functionality than the windows phone app in the settings when you click on the account both uh, phones show the options ios has all the options that the windows phone is showing in this screen plus it has uh, some additional things to offer for example you can turn on and off the new contacts recommendations and news because the windows phone does not uh, actually show these uh, recommendations and news within the twitter app so that's why there are no settings for those on ios you can individually turn on and off the tweet alerts whereas on uh, windows phone 8 there is only one option to either turn on and off the alerts for the tweets there are some additional options on windows phone platform as well you can configure the live tile and uh, you can actually configure the lock screen and uh, you can set actually the Twitter app your lock screen and all the updates will uh, come on your lock screen. You can change the theme and also you can actually change the font size. You can also change the font size on iOS whereas uh, there are some additional options available on iOS. You can uh, change the image quality from low, medium to high. You can turn on and off the image previews and as well as the sound effects. You can also set the way the notifications appear on iOS. You can actually turn on and off whether you want to see the notifications from the people only you follow or you can also turn on and off the notifications for the mentions only. You can also set uh, that where you want the read it later posts and you can uh, send it to reading list, pocket or the insta paper. Once you have uh, sent those tweets or the links to read it later app then you can actually open uh, that particular app whether it's a pocket or insta paper and you can uh, read that link uh, from there anytime later on. So these are the differences uh, between the apps. The only major differences that I see is that the read it later functionality is available on iOS and also the images and as well as the reply retweet favorite and follow button is available on the home screen instead of uh, i have to click uh, the particular tweet and then from there i can reply or retweet as is the case on the windows phone 8 whereas on ios i have actually option to click uh, just there and i can uh, do anything from there the only thing that i don't like about the windows phone 8 app is that the top menu bar is actually too thick the height of the top menu bar is too much and it's covering a very usable space of the screen 
and the viewable contents are much smaller than the actual screen and uh, although it's uh, more than the iPhone 5s uh, viewable area but the difference has actually reduced a lot considering that uh, the Lumia 1520 has a 6 inch screen and iPhone 5s only has 4 inch screen but the difference has been reduced only because of that uh, thick top bar. They need to reduce the size of that top bar. Both apps actually show the suggestions to add new people as you can see here. Also both apps has the functionality to find the friends that are available on the Twitter by accessing your uh, contact list and uh, find which friends are available on the Twitter using your contact list. So guys this is the comprehensive comparison of the Twitter app between the iOS and the Windows Phone platform. I hope uh, that you have liked the comparison and if you have liked the comparison then uh, please press the thumbs up button at the bottom of the video and subscribe for more videos like that. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye.